Welcome back to part two, the second half of The Coach. My guests are Jocelyn Kamatuka and Awilo Stefanis, and we are talking all things football and sport. The referee blows the whistle, and we're back into part two. Yeah. Mm. Um, in, terms of, in terms of that dedication, taking you guys out, you played in South Africa. Um, Awilo, you've, you've played uh, in, in Europe, different, different parts of Africa as well. What was the transition easy coming from Stars BA, mm. two of the Namibia's biggest, um, and the football, the, the level is high, Stars BA, at the time that you guys mm. were playing as well. That's when ball was ball. People say that mm. all the time. Um, and then you move to South Africa. You move, I, I think the first move was, was it Thailand? Finland? Thailand, Thailand. yes. Um, how was that transition? Because I don't think footballers know what really goes into it. I think there's a... In our mind, we have this, it's luxury, you flew first class, you got there, mm. there was a giant reception, and you know you went to the stadium for the unveiling, then you mm. went to go live in your penthouse. Everyone thinks that mm. when it comes to football. Is it as sweet as it seems? No. Not at all? <laughs> Not at all, because I remember when I went to Thailand the first time, mm -hmm. it wasn't easy, because that time there was this fight with BA about some contract issues, and mm -hmm. there was a team that wanted to sign me, but now they wanted me as a free agent. But now BA, because it's Thailand, and obviously the money was better than SA at that time. Mm -hmm. They wanted a lot of money, so things were not going as planned. And then that team, they pulled out of the deal, and then I had to hustle again. So I got the first division club where, but then they were having the money to pay, but they didn't want that. Good, uh, they didn't want to buy me from BA. So mm -hmm. I told them, okay, let's go for a loan deal at least. And then those guys, they were so. I don't know, they didn't want it as well. Mm -hmm. So the way they were treating me was like, ah, let, me, let us treat them in a certain way so that they can just go back. They gave me like a mattress and just like a pillow. And I was like, as, really? long, as long as I can sign that contract, even if it's a loan deal, I'm not going home. So, so you were sleeping just like, okay, yeah. a mattress on the obi floor, yeah. obi floor pillow. Pillow. Where was this? At the, at the stadium? Yeah, no, that's not at the stadium. There was like a clubhouse thing, but there was okay. no players there. I was the only one staying there. So I was like, as long as I sign that contract, I'm not going anyway. And then eventually they saw at ah, this guy, that he has to drive. So mm -hmm. let's give him a chance. Let's give him a six months contract. And mm -hmm. then, and you won't believe it. At the end of that six months, I was the top goal scorer at the team. And was that I, towards the end of the, the last yeah, six the months? Yeah, the last six months of the, the, <laughs> of the season. So Ooh. I was the top goal scorer and then they were like, okay, this mm -hmm. is a player that we can't mess out yeah. on. I think after the first month or two, they moved me into a hotel. Imagine I stayed for like six months in a hotel. Mm. They gave me like just that mattress and that, they said. And these are the things we don't yeah, think they, of. They are, these are the things that people don't know. It's not easy out see. there. Yeah. Mm. All they see is, ah. He's playing, he's playing abroad. He bought a car. So he bought a car. Yeah. All these things, yeah. Jolly, but the transition to to South Africa, the f the very first move. The, okay, before that, I actually must. I stopped playing soccer. For oh yeah, you did quit. Yeah. But the bounce back was so real. I even forgot you quit. Yeah, because uh, when I went now to when I went to Cape Town, I just started playing because I had some friends that were still in in the university. So I just mm -hmm. went there. I just said, no, I just want to start playing with them. Like. Mm -hmm. And they like amateurs most. Mm -hmm. So, but I, I, I think that me playing there changed my mindset a lot. Like I was, I was nobody knew about me. Mm -hmm. Mind you, that time I already, you know, played for the national team. I have a Kosafa medal and stuff. Mm -hmm. Nobody knew about me, but I just, you know, first at training, last at training, mm -hmm. just training. I just needed to get back because I think I didn't play for like a year mm -hmm. or so. So I had to just get back into it, man. And so when it, when it happened that one of the guys found out who I was, I don't know how, mm -hmm. then they started now asking me, so, but why are you, why are you like this? I'm like, how? Mm -hmm. Why don't you, why do you act the way you, I'm like, I'm, I was there, mm -hmm. like what you can see on Google, that is who I was. Mm -hmm. Now I'm here. Mm -hmm. So I need to bring myself down there and go back up. I can't be having an attitude with you guys because I be, I'm, not, I'm not helping myself mm -hmm. that way. Long story short, Cape Moya moved from Platinum Stars. They came to yeah, Cape, Cape Town. Town. Wangu was there. Mm -hmm. I got into contact with him. He said I should, he organized me to come and train there. So I trained two weeks. The people were impressed and 
you know how Cape Town is, the weather changes. Mm -hmm. So my balls were that I was crossing were just going with the wind. Like mm. you, if you don't know Cape Town wind, you will fail. You will fail. You will fail. Definitely. With the crosses, you will fail. Those guys know how to cross. Because they understand. The they wind. know th if the wind is going this way, they can even shoot the ball. They, it's going to come there. They know. <laughs> So I was there trying to whip it in and the balls are there all over the show. To they told me I can't cross. Mm -hmm. I stayed away. Two weeks I told myself, now I'm going back. Mm -hmm. Went back, went to go watch them play a friendly. I saw no man. Mm -hmm. So these are the guys that can play. I, I stood there for mm -hmm. like an hour after that game. Coach was Roger Desai. I stood by his car. After the game you were yeah, in the parking lot? I just stood by his car. He was still busy talking there. Everyone had left. When he came, he saw me, started laughing. He's like, you really want to play? I'm like, yeah. Mind you, that time I already got my clearance from Stars. Mm -hmm. I already organized my police clear, everything. You were ready mm -hmm. to play. I was ready. He just needed to tell me. He's like, okay, come on Monday. Mm -hmm. I came on Monday. That time I'm telling him, I'm going to tell the guy I'll play for free. Mm -hmm. I just want to get into the setup. Because mm -hmm. that's all you need as a Namibian, just to be in the system. Mm -hmm. From there, you, it's not up to you. Up to you. Mm -hmm. It's difficult to get in, but once you're in, it's up to you. So, and he's asking me, so what about your clearance? I said, it's in the car. He laughs again. He says, you really? I'm like, yeah. And the police, it say everything is in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Go get the brown envelope, <laughs> the big one. The big envelope. I say, the, everything is there. With all the stamps. Uh, yeah, everything is there. You don't need, my password is also in there. So just take just and take finish everything. my stuff. Yeah. He signed, he tells me, no. Yeah, I remember you said you were going to play for free. And I start laughing. I know, oh, nah, you, you're not going to give me peanuts. Mm -hmm. And I'm sharp. I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. I'm going to give you, say you're going to give you. Yeah. I'm like, no problem. Hey, and I'm playing. And that preseason, eh, I was a top goal scorer in the preseason. Mm. And they still let me go. You see, so, so the second time around. When I came back, it's me again. Mm -hmm. The league started already there were four games in. So it's now to get the paperwork ready and stuff. And then Coach Manetti calls me. He's like, yo, Roger really wants you to start on Saturday. And this was Tuesday. You need to call this and this and this. Mm -hmm. My papers weren't ready, but Saturday, he's Friday when he flew to Durban, he said, just come work. Mm -hmm. Saturday, I started, bro. And that was history. But and it was difficult because yeah. I, 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 and that's where my temper started coming now again. Mm. I remember I got my first yellow card that day. Someone gave me a, a through pass so far that I had to chase and I couldn't get it. Mm. And the corner flag was there and I kicked it and broke it <laughs> off. <laughs> and I got booked. <laughs> yeah, because I was like, you see, where, how, why I enjoy playing with Awilo, this guy knows, bro. Yeah, like we have this, yeah. I know when he just looks a certain way, I know where to, he knows where to put the ball. Yeah. Now these guys, they give you a ball that you still have to chase. Yeah. Just put the ball there, man. I'll get there, but don't. They can't weigh the pass. Mm. Yeah. It's either it's too far or yeah. it's too oh. short. Do you think sometimes that has to do with like the individual uh, chemistry w with players? Maybe if a player doesn't like you. Um, mm. He's gonna try and make you, you, you look better, and yeah. especially of South African players. Yes. Yes. They have yeah. this thing, bro. They pass you. Let's say a uh, uh, we call it a hospital pass, a soft mm. pass. Mm -hmm. Let's you say I'm standing to... here and I have a marker. Yeah. They give you a soft pass, then the guy takes, and then he'll tell you, "Come to the ball." Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. you give a proper yeah. pass, most. <laughs> and they, and you going on trials that side. Yeah, they know you right footed. They give you one on the left. Bah, Hard. you can't control yeah. it. Oh, they give you one here, you, the ball bounces, then they shout at you. Mm. But with time, as, when they can see, no, this guy can actually help the team, they calm down. They calm down. But that's how it is when you get there. Yeah. That's why I'm so hard on these boys. Mm -hmm. And then they talk, talk back. Yeah. They don't yeah. know, like, let, let me rather be hard on you. Because yeah. what you get there, there's no one that's going to say, ah, yeah. easy yeah. on yeah. Those guys, they don't want you there, first of all. Because mm -hmm. you're taking their bread. So the, there's a... There's, uh you know, and we see the chemistry uh, between the two of you, obviously, off the field. We've seen you guys, mm. you know, as friends and on the field. As a, as a baller and someone that understands ball, I can see the chemistry as well. Like, there was a, I can't remember what game it was. But Awilo, I swear, you didn't even look at Jolie. You, you crossed a ball, like, you, you beat a man, you knocked the ball forward, and Jolie wasn't even in a position to make a run. And you whipped it first time. Jolie knew exactly where to run. It almost seemed... Rehearsed in that mm. game, it was a it was a national team. I don't mm. know if it was a friendly. Mm. It was Eritrea. 
when it was a qualifier, I, yeah. I went and then he gave me and then I gave and then Peter scored. Then Peter scored. Mm. Yeah. I knew, like, you see that, that thing. Yeah. He didn't even look at me, but I knew yeah. he gets the ball, I will run. Yeah. Peter also knows if he mm. gets the ball, mm -hmm. Peter knows where box. to go. And because we know he will mm -hmm. put it where you mm -hmm. are. Mm -hmm. But we're seeing that a lot with, with the current national team, the, your group. Mm. There's a lot of brotherhood in there. We're seeing the pockets of spaces of, mm -hmm. okay, you understand each other now. Um, in the beginning, I know when you have fresh new players, mm -hmm. the fans just, without understanding that you don't understand each other yet, yeah. the mm -hmm. fans just start talking already. Talking about, yeah. That, no, but these guys... This one is not good. This, this one's not good. Mm -hmm. He should have passed, but you have to learn a player. How exciting is it playing for the national team with this current team right now? For you, Maybe I'll, I'll be looking at that. I think from from my side, um, the crop that I've been playing with since since 2011 is there's one or two players that's out now, and then mm -hmm. jolly them that came okay. under the bus at I think 2015, 14 mm -hmm. around there. Mm -hmm. We have this, we have this. Um, let me say this brotherhood, like you said, even off the field at the hotel, mm -hmm. we might go to Jolly's room. We, we will be chatting there the mm -hmm. whole day until maybe 11 at night or whatever mm -hmm. it may be. So I think on and off the field, we have this chemistry between us where we can, and there's no big player, small player amongst us. So let's say, for instance, um, Peter, who is at Sundowns or uh, Dion that's at uh, Pirates, mm -hmm. as much as they are our best players currently, or with what they are doing at, uh, in, in the PSL, their respect that they have for us and the respect we have for them, mm -hmm. it, it's, it's a mutual thing and it's, it's on the same level. So that's yeah. why when we go onto the field, there's no big play and there's no we, mm -hmm. we, we can we can we can jal like we are saying in football mm -hmm. terms we jal mm -hmm. on and off the field so that's why we are we, we can do what we are doing yeah. we know each other like like jolly them that's the strikers when me as the wing or midfielder has the ball I'm always telling them just get into the box because mm -hmm. you know what I can do yeah. and I know what you can do when the ball gets there so mm -hmm. We are just going according to that. We say it's like clockwork. Yeah, the way it works. No, this is this is the, you know, obviously there's the the class of, the, the team of '98. Every you know, mm. anyone in football is gonna is gonna say legend. And if I say that this current team is better than that team, I already know the old commentators and pundits are gonna tell me this boy doesn't know anything. Yeah. Mm. But uh, the trophies, the medals at the end of the day, show who's the best. Yeah. When we when we count anything, Messi or Ronaldo. Stats. It's the stats. Stats, yeah. Stats, stats, stats. So, do you believe you are part of the best Namibian national side to ever play football? <laughs> yes, for Is me, it? yeah. No? Besides the stats, um, I think if you take the 98 squad and then you take our squad, our current squad, or let's say the current squad of, let's say, mm. so yeah, since 2015 Last actually, time. since mm -hmm. 2015, we can weigh those guys pound for pound. If mm -hmm. we take... Um, Let's say Ronnie mm -hmm. is the number one goalkeeper at the time. Mm -hmm. You take Virgil or you take Lloyd. There is some things that Ronnie was not good at mm -hmm. back then, whereby Virgil is maybe better or Lloyd is mm -hmm. better. And there were some things that Ronnie was good at where these two are not good at. You mm -hmm. take maybe Mohammed as a player, then mm -hmm. you take Denzel Ausep, mm -hmm. you take Robert Nosep, you take Jolly, mm -hmm. you take, you know, strikers you of that time, you take Peter. Position. Yeah, we, we can match them. Even if it's not pound for pound, but mm -hmm. we, we are there. And yeah. I think our team as well, like you said, the stats, we, we have won the Kosafa whereby they didn't win the mm -hmm. Kosafa. Mm -hmm. And then... You know, Afcon, yeah, you've played. Afcon, we played. Yeah. They played Afcon. Mm -hmm. Like now, there was a time they said Congo was the highest capped player of 60-something games. Mm -hmm. Then Salausep currently and now is 70-something. Mm -hmm. I'm on 61 or 62, mm -hmm. so... You're coming for that number yeah, two spot. Yeah, yeah, we are going for that number two. Even Pietras is having more than me. Dion is one or two more than me as well. So mm. I think with stats, so we are there. Yeah. You agree, Jolly? Best mm. best to ever do it. Mm. Best, yeah. Net da, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we, we, uh, we, uh, we have a good team, man. Yeah. yeah. No, no, it's, it's the most successful mm. one. So but you know, you need to give credit where it's due as well. So, But they have put Namibian football on the map, so... Yeah. Mm. So we need to we need to acknowledge that as well yeah. as 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 those as they are our role models our mm -hmm. living legends. Yeah. So they paved the way. Yeah, they mm -hmm. paved the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, what what would you say just real quick off the top of your head, the the proudest or your favorite brave warriors moment? What would you say 
It is. Mine was, I think it was a Chan qualifier just before I the took goal. off took off for, for Thailand. Yeah. The, I didn't want to play and then the guys were like, no, let's qualify for this cup and well, let's tournament. Mm -hmm. And then I was in the starting 11, Jolly was on the bench. So when I scored that goal, after I turned, mm, I saw it. He was in the field. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "But where is this guy coming yeah. from?" It's like he knew yeah. I would score that goal. So that no, no. was that was one of my best moments in. Maybe in your best career. goal. No, no, ah, no, 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 no. National team. No, no, no. For the national team. There was a there was a free kick, free kick, free kick in Gambia. Gambia. The one from far away. Oh, was it the left side or the right side? It was. It was just outside the box. It was outside the box. Yeah. yeah. The, I think they, the, the, the papers back home, they even couldn't believe it. So they were like, no, Peter scored the goal. Even the coaches, because yeah. me and Peter were standing there. I took the shot and then the way I took it, it was like, it was a left footer. So mm. everybody was like, no, it's Peter that scored. But it was me. That was, I think, the best goal I've scored. Yeah. 100%. Mm. Favorite moment, Jolly? Ah, uh, obvious. Ne? <laughs> uh, you know, <laughs> it uh, has to be the, 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 the goal at AFCON. Yeah. Still couldn't believe that time. And, and you know how I actually got to, I think how I started that game is because we were on the bench most. So mm -hmm. we would have that 11 v 11, mm -hmm. first 11 against. So now that, that I think the after the Bafana game, we were on one team mm -hmm. all the time. So we had one move that when you got the, he gave me the through pass, I knew most ready and it happened three times in a row. Mm -hmm. The same, the, the same, same move, yeah. Mm. Same player, and I remember Coach Manetti was like, "Larry was the right back." Yeah, Larry, Larry was. Mm. Same player, three times, same move, and he told me that night, "You, you start." Yeah, you are ready to start. You are ready mm. to start. So, we, 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 it, like the combination is just you know, deadly, man. So and then when the game came, and I was just like, "Ah, this is this is it, man." So I was tired actually before I scored most that goal. Mm. But then I, I got, got, you know, the energy. Mm, and I think and I when, the ball, when the ball landed to you, it was even at time, just when I got on, I think it was the last 30th, so I, I got on, on like the 60th minute yeah. or so, and then Jolly was telling me, no, I'm getting cramps, I'm tired. Mm. I told him, let's just push, even if it's just one goal. Mm -hmm. Immediately after I, with our handshake, mm. he just turned, the ball came, and then he scored. I, just I told him, now you are ready to go. <laughs> and he's like, now you can go. He's like, hey, bro, I, I, now I want to play, but I'm like, we already made the yeah, sub. Yeah, so, so. But yeah, that has to be I think that was my favorite moment. Mm. Now, Jocelyn, who would you say was the most difficult player, the best player you've played against. If you were to have a footballing nightmare, this would be the player that shows up. Yes. Any uh, international uh, club level, mm. whichever one, or even if you have a top two or three. Can't think of them. You had uh, no player that. No, there is definitely. I mean, here, like, I think, like, I will have mentioned Dennis Guerra, like, mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to play against him. Mm -hmm. um, also, one tough one was Denzel. He nearly took me out. He actually took me out mm. in the derby. And I was out for, like, I think two months. Ooh. Yeah. But, oh, I can't think. Mm -hmm. I really can't think of any. I can say, like, it was tough playing against Guinea. Mm. Uh, um, Navigators team. Mm. That was a tough game, but like one on one to, mm -hmm. to mention someone or to for someone to stand out to say was the toughest. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I can't think of one because mm -hmm. I would get my way around. Mm -hmm. But like I can't think of maybe it will come. I don't know. Right now I can't think of anyone. And I think I think that's okay for you to say because you played. Um, I remember a game you played against someone. The most footballers and football fans regard him as a very top, top, top centre half mm. in in Kulibali, mm. and he gave you a nice thumbs up after the game. You mm. gave him tough time there. Mm. Um, how was it? Do you do you see a difference in the level, or is it just a difference in opportunity? Because that game one on one, like you said, it it felt like ah, mm. but we can take we can take these guys like mm. it's it's just the opportunity because I feel like. If a guy like even Sadio Mane was born in Namibia, mm -hmm. I don't think he was going to play for Liverpool today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All of them, 
So it's just a matter of opportunity, man. Like mm -hmm. if we, I always say that we were born on the wrong side of the world. Mm -hmm. And I think there's one interview that Arsene Wenger said the same, and he mentioned Namibia. Mm -hmm. Like he said, if you take, a, there's a lot of talent in Namibia. I think there's a program that he's busy with now, mm -hmm. with getting talent out of Africa. And he spoke about Namibia. He mm -hmm. says, there's talent there, but they don't have the opportunities to be this side. Mm -hmm. So, because like a guy like Koulibaly, difference, in you know mm -hmm. where he's playing and you can see but like those guys couldn't handle our speed mm -hmm. they couldn't bruh they were tired and that's how they worked they would get catch their breaths back by you know there's a foul and yeah. they all you know yeah, just to get yeah. a yeah. whole good five to six minutes of yeah. just them because they couldn't now imagine us like that that's why Sadio Mane is so good in Europe mm -hmm. because he's so fast like naturally and he has mm -hmm. the energy mm -hmm. and Updates, more tactics, and yeah. you know. And they are clinical. clinical. In front of goals, they mm. are very they'll, clinical. They'll finish mm. it. If you look at that uh, Senegal Namibia match, especially the away match, yeah. us, we had more chances. We had six chances, yeah. we scored one goal. One, they yeah. had five, they scored four. Four goals, yeah. You see, see so the level. The yeah. level, yeah, they are very clinical. That's true, that's true. Uh, Benjamin, not Benjamin, uh, Edward Mendy. Mm. He's, the, he's regarded as one of the best goalkeepers. I mean, now he has a Champions League. World Cup, uh, uh, Afghan. 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 He I got a Club World Cup. Yeah. And he's, I think FIFA's best goalkeeper. FIFA's best award, goalkeeper yeah, I think, as well. Yeah. And um, another one of, uh, you know, one of the few goals he conceded mm. was by Jocelyn Kamatuka. Awila, how did that make you feel when, when he scored that goal? Um, best belief. I think when I got that ball, I didn't even see Jolly. My first yeah. instinct was after I chased that ball, it went into my, like, my space. Mm -hmm. And... I'm a right footer, but I trust my left. Mm -hmm. So when it just bounced, I I time. went. So he perished it, and my friend, there's the speed that he is. He mm -hmm. was in the box, the, the right place at the right time. Mm -hmm. He went for goal. So I think that's something I can be proud of. Like mm -hmm. the stats says, is Jocelyn is one of the fewest players mm -hmm. or that mm -hmm. scored against mm -hmm. uh, Mendy. So. Mm -hmm. I think it's something that he should be proud of. Me as a friend already, I am proud of what he did or yeah. Yeah. what he achieved. So, yeah. yeah, I think that's something he should be proud of. Yeah, I hope, I hope uh, he's, he's happy. I'm a Chelsea fan, so that one... <laughs> it, it no, I think I was number six. You're number six. So <laughs> that, that, that one, yeah. that I think you only goal. had five goals. That, that he had conceded season. five, yeah. yeah. And then yeah. you were number six. Yeah. And I'm a Chelsea fan, but I celebrated. Man. But we actually, even I think the... Yeah, I think we, we watched his, his videos. Mm. Myself and Peter, because we sit next to each other mm -hmm. to check, and we saw that he he has confidence because he's tall, mm -hmm. so he'll always try and hold it. Mm -hmm. You see, and then here he's not as good. Mm -hmm. Even so, even his ball work, his, of yeah. his feet, he's, mm -hmm. he's not one of the best yeah. uh, players of yeah. the, of his feet. Yeah. yeah. So how that that ball we started from the middle. I wanted it, but I think it was Balak who switched it to a wheel. Mm -hmm. But I just kept on running. And I saw him, he was going to hit it. And I knew he was going to try and save it because mm -hmm. it went far and he mm -hmm. just wanted to use the left. Mm -hmm. And then he bounced and I was there. He said, sharp. Ah. One time. <laughs> I remember who was, I spoke to, to I think was, was it Gaza, he asked me the one mm -hmm. time, how did you know that the ball was going to bounce? Mm -hmm. or like, and I was like, it's, I know this guy can shoot mm -hmm. like hard. Mm. And I saw, you just put it mm -hmm. there. The next thing to yeah. do, you can't still turn and cross. Mm -hmm. Just hit. Because you were aiming for that other corner. Yeah, mm. no. It was and, going there. And he hit it. I always watch him. Like, yeah. he hit it. And I was like, nah, there's no way he's going to keep it. He's I either going to punch it away or... Mm. When he dropped, I just threw myself there. Mm. I even remember the home game against Senegal. Mm. I had that confidence that he tries to hold it. So I got the free kick and that free kick was like, Mm -hmm. Nearly. Way out of range and it mm, was far. And then everyone on the bench was like, take it. I was mm. like, it's too far. Everybody yeah. said, take it. I yeah. took the shot and then mm. it's just that it was just a bit outside the outside. frame. But mm. I think it, if it was inside, he would have perished it again and yeah. someone, someone might have. Yeah. Yeah. The ultimate uh, poacher. Mm. Mm. He's always waiting. There. Mm. Um, I want to I wanna just talk about the friendship a little bit because, you know, in, in football, it's a it's a very competitive thing, and I don't think many teammates have what you guys have mm. um, in terms of the willingness to push the other one forward. It, because not many footballers make it, 
it's very easy to be selfish with how you're going to go about it. But mm. you, you have been friends for, for very long. So I just want to see what you see in each other in terms of, of qualities. So we're going to go with the good and the bad. Mm. Yeah. Ne? Uh, Jocelyn, what do you like most about Awilo's style of play and his skills? His vision. Because mm -hmm. his vision will compliment me how do i say yeah. yeah 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 mm -hmm. yeah. I, yeah his vision and then his technique man mm -hmm. and like i think that's like god given it wasn't you know for someone who's who, who's maybe playing in europe you, you do those things you know mm -hmm. how to you know mm -hmm. but he just it's natural na left right mm -hmm. i've pers i can't put a ball at a corner and use my left mm -hmm. to swing it in. Mm -hmm. No, no way. I was shocked when I saw when I saw the, a free kick. You took, but you took free kicks with your left before, like Who? sometimes. And I always get Him. confused. I will, yeah. Yeah. I always get confused because the crosses with the right, mm. phenomenal, and then a free kick with the left, mm. phenomenal. You and you're thinking, how do you do this? So I, I, I agree. I think yeah, that's like it's it's yo oh, I, I for that that I, mm -hmm. it's a huge yeah. thing. I wish I could kick left right. <laughs> Not many players can, man. Even the best Dead of the ball. best. I mean, I can use my left. Like I scored like three goals in in mm -hmm. in by Umoya with my left, mm -hmm. but it just bounced and I just mm -hmm. volley. That is fine. Mm -hmm. But like a dead ball, mm -hmm. that's like pure technique. Yo, bro, that's that's pure dope. technique. Awilo, yeah, for, I think for, for Jolly. One thing that I can give credit to Jolly is his, his drive for the game, his mm -hmm. hunger that he is having, and then even at the national team, there's times like. It might seem like he's on the bench. Mm -hmm. Then you could you can just see in his face he's not happy. Mm. That's that's a player that you can say, man. This is a guy that wants to win. He has the drive. He has the passion for the game. First thing that comes to your mind, you just answer. Uh, if you could bring one old player or player from an old Brave Warriors team into this new one, who would it be, Jolly? Just one. For no reason, just. Just one. Ask I will. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, the generation before me or? Mm -hmm. Generation before you. Any any of the generations before you? Uh, I think I'll go I'll go of Quentin Jacobs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Quentin. Uh, it's, Quentin it's is someone, is someone that you can have in your midfield. Like Jolly said, I think, or Jolly thinks I have the vision. Mm -hmm. But Quentin, them, those guys, they know when yeah. the ball, when he gets that ball, Someone will, will someone at third ball and end up yeah. with his teammate. Yeah. So for us, it's we are we are we are working very hard for it. Mm. But for Quentin, for Quentin, it's it's God given. It's a God given talent. That vision is a God given talent. Yeah. yeah. You go with Quentin. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Quentin. Quentin is. Yeah. Um, do you ever think you'll play with one of your brothers in the national team at some point? I have a younger brother though, but I don't know. He, I don't think he's. And he's actually good, eh? Mm -hmm. He's actually good, but I don't think he has the drive, he has the passion. Mm. But you know how last bonds are. He's the last yeah. one from my mom's side, so... Yeah. Yeah. I don't think he's just there. But he plays these funny tournaments and things, and then people will be like, ah, Awilo's brother is a very good player. Mm. Why is he not playing? But Maybe for him, he, he has a talent, but he doesn't have that thing of, I want to go far with my football. Mm. Mm. Would you... Would I, that be a big thing for the family if you guys play together? Yeah, I would like to play because yeah. it's true. I would like to play with him, but I think it's up to him. Yeah, it's it's not easy. Three words stick out to me that you we've mentioned now, just in closing: uh, uh, discipline, for sure. The hard work cannot be replaced mm. because talent is God given. That is that mm. is not your mm. business, yeah, as you it's say. Not your business. And sacrifice. sacrifice. Um, I just want to want to thank you guys for 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 joining us, giving us an insight of of the footballer, the Namibian footballer, because these are conversations that are not had yeah. on the fans' perspective. Mm -hmm. So it's always nice to see. Um, this is The Coach. It's a script with Jocelyn Kamatuka and Awilo Stefanis, two Namibian living legends currently playing for the national team. And uh, we just wanted to get insight on all things football from them. This is The Coach. Again, stay tuned. This is where we take a look at the true ins and outs of what it takes to be a professional.